What's going on, fam? It's the entertainer, the motivator, the educator, Lucky Murray, back with another quick video. Today, we're talking about South Carolina's schedule for the 2022 year. We're going to talk about it, give you my opinions, what I think of it. Before I go any further, man, I need you to do one of three things. One, like the video, man. I, I put in tons of work, man. I'm tired. You see the eyes are red. But I try to give a video to, to the Game Caught Nations, man. Two, if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, man. It lets YouTube know that the content is working and it shows it more to more and more people so that YouTube can give me my goal of 5,000 subs before the end of 2021. Uh, if you sub to the to channel, hit the notification bell, allow you know every time I drop a video and share the video, it helps out a ton. But South Carolina has released his, video, his schedule and we just going to go look at it and see what it is, man. So without further ado, let's go, man. So right here, man. So the first game of the season, Georgia State. Then we go to Arkansas. Then we go to Georgia. Then we do UNC Charlotte. Then SC State. That's a game that I will want to go to next year. Uh, the last time we played SC State, it was 2010. My son was born. Um, so I think that's a, a, a thing, man, that we're playing uh, South Carolina State. Kentucky, Texas A&M, Missouri, Vanderbilt, Florida, Tennessee, and Clemson. So right off the bat, um, I'm glad that I'm glad that we we are playing the FCS opponent and we're keeping it local. Um, I don't want us to play, you know, Eastern Illinois. That game was okay, but we got plenty of teams in the South Carolina area that the F, the F, FCS schools in South Carolina. I love seeing State on there. That's the game that I want to go to. UNC Charlotte is an up and coming program. Um, they are division F. They 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 jumped up to the FCS level a few years back, so that'd be a good game. Uh, uh, Georgia game, man. Um, I like I like for us to play them uh, that early again this year. Um, Georgia State. Uh, Elliot, uh, the coach, uh, our our, our inner coach at the time, um, before he went down to. Uh, Georgia State that's pretty good man so I, I'm not gonna do any predictings of this schedule real quick because like I said before man we just got to see how our season ends before we talk about predictions for next year uh, but I do like the schedule it seems like it's a light non-conference schedule with the team that is rebuilding you don't want to have heavy non-conference opponents you want to get the momentum down you want to show recruits that hey look we are a stable program all right we want to be a six to eight win team a year coming up and showing improvement um and i like that a lot you know in uh, 2020 schedule we had an all sec schedule this schedule um was not as hard because we have four winnable games coming up and we're gonna see how the uh, south carolina gamecocks do and that's an and I believe that we we're we're gonna do some some great things, man. But I like the fact that he got his schedule down. I love the fact they're playing SC State, man. Shout out to the Bulldogs down in Orangeburg. I love the fact that you know it seems like a schedule that we can, if if we're careful, you know we can we make can win eight wins, eight to nine wins. Um, I believe that we could do six to seven, and so next year it seems like we can improve one or two games. And hey, look, man. If we if we end the season with seven wins this year, a lot of momentum is going to the South Carolina side. But here's what I need you to do, man. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Do you like the schedule? Right in the comment section below, get the entertainment motivator, educator, Lucky Murray, back another game cut news update. And yes, we got a we got a schedule. We got a schedule. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. But like always, <gasps> until next time, people.